right, we're leaving Adelaide River now and we're off to Jabiru. What are you looking forward to in Jabiru, Loretta? Mm, not quite sure yet. The crocodiles, <laughs> Gay Hills Crossing, and me fishing, and I'm going to catch the biggest barra. All the way up to Darwin from Adelaide River, there's historical World War II sites, which are like runways on the side of the road. Uh, at this runway, there's planes. Uh, there with a bit of a story uh, and also going into Kakadu we come across this sign which there's not much open in the Kakadu at the moment but as you'll see we did get up to a fair bit. So we finally made it to Kakadu and we're on our way to Jabiru to camp there the night that's about another uh, 100 k's so we should be right to get there and even get out to Cahill's Crossing. What do you want to see at Katie Hills Crossing? The crocodiles. Got to see a crocodile. Fingers crossed everyone. Wow. Right. The information center is pretty cool. Oh. You could spend hours in here. Spend hours and hours looking at all the things that you can do. Maybe not hours. Maybe not hours. Maybe an hour. <laughs> Pretty amazing. Crocodile skeleton. Turtles. So I'm trying to find somewhere to have a fish and I took every dirt track possible uh, to try and find somewhere but fishing off the bank is pretty impossible here unless you're at a boat ramp. But I finally found somewhere to fish and this is off the jetty at Kuinda uh, Caravan Park where we were staying. And guess what? Guess what I just caught? I just caught a para and... I come down for a fish uh, while Loretta's back at the um, caravan doing some work and uh, barra number two. Right, we're going on the yellow water cruise from Corinda. Yep. From Corinda. See what this brings us. Yeah, great food source, still um, heavily today. So there, you've got a great view. Um, and that's why the, the gates are closed. We, um, yeah, got a bit of water on the road and we're still seeing crocodiles. Yeah, mostly a feasting off fish. But, um, you know, we get fruit bait and a lot of whistle now. Yeah, he looks like he's on fish. Yeah. He's got somewhere to go, somewhere to be, maybe. Oh, sorry, I don't know. Most likely a nest, and that's what they do grass and debris. So, yeah, we'll end up up to 100 um, feral buffaloes. And all in there. So, Loretta, what's the best thing that you've seen? Crocodiles. Definitely the croc. Yeah, it was huge. And that was really, really close. We could have patted it. Yeah, I think. Well, you could have patted it. I know. That was pretty cool. So, if you're up this way, and Corinda, 
the Yellowstone River Cruise. Is that what it's called? That's awesome. You gotta do that. Cool, eh? Lots of crocs, lots of fish, lots of birds, lots of buffaloes, water. water. No mozzies. Yeah. Yeah. But they'll come out. <laughs> All right. So we left Kakadu this morning. Uh, Kakadu was really good. It was a little bit disappointing at first because we couldn't get to stay at Jabiru and then go out to K Hills Crossing because everything was closed. I think I've got a photo there of what's open and what's closed, but we'll post that up. Uh, then we stayed at Corinda. Yep. Corinda was pretty cool. Uh, we went to Yellow Water Cruises and that was amazing. You would have seen that in the... Um, video uh, then from there now we've driven down to Catherine and we're just at the Catherine information center and that is really good because there's great parking here for caravans and we're going to go out to uh, where are we going to the Catherine hot springs and then uh, we're going to stay at Catherine Gorge tonight we'll bring you more from there.